Dwarka, the city of gates, holds a revered place in Indian mythology and history. Ancient texts describe Dwarka as a magnificent city, built on an island off the coast of Gujarat, India. Legend has it that Dwarka was swallowed by the sea after Krishna's death. For centuries, it was considered a myth, a story passed down through generations. The search for the lost city has been a dream for archaeologists and historians alike. The Mahabharata, one of the two major Sanskrit epics of ancient India, describes Dwarka in vivid detail. It speaks of a city of grand palaces, beautiful gardens and bustling streets. The epic also recounts the city's tragic end, swallowed by the sea within a matter of hours. In the 1960s, a team of archaeologists from the Archaeological Survey of India began exploring the coastal waters near the present-day city of Dwarka. Submerged structures, stone walls and artefacts were discovered, lending credence to the ancient tales. This marked a turning point in the search for Dwarka, shifting it from the realm of myth to the realm of tangible history. The underwater excavations unveiled a submerged city with streets, buildings and a complex drainage system. The artifacts recovered, including pottery, beads and human remains, pointed towards a sophisticated civilization that existed millennia ago. Further investigations in the 1980s, led by marine archaeologist S.R. Rao, brought more startling discoveries. Remains of a harbour, fortifications and ancient anchors were found. Carbon dating of the artifacts suggested that the site dated back to the second millennium BCE, coinciding with the period of the Mahabharata. One of the most significant findings was a massive stone wall extending for hundreds of meters along the seabed. The wall's construction using advanced techniques of interlocking and mortar indicates a high level of engineering sophistication. Another intriguing discovery was a series of submerged structures believed to be the remains of ancient jetties and warehouses. These structures, along with the discovery of anchors and other maritime artefacts, suggest that Dwarka was a major port city, engaged in extensive trade and commerce. The city's strategic location on the western coast of India would have made it a hub for trade routes connecting the Indian subcontinent with the Middle East and beyond. The underwater excavations at Dwarka have also yielded a treasure trove of artefacts, providing valuable insights into the daily life and culture of its people. The discoveries at Dwarka have challenged conventional historical narratives, pushing back the timeline of advanced civilizations in ancient India. The findings suggest that the people of Dwarka possessed a high level of technological and engineering skills. The evidence unearthed at Dwarka points towards a civilization that was not only advanced but also deeply connected to the sea. The city's prosperity seems to have been built on maritime trade, with evidence suggesting links to civilizations as far as Mesopotamia and Egypt. The Dwarka excavations have opened up new avenues for research into ancient Indian history and maritime archaeology. The study of the site's architecture, artifacts and urban planning provides valuable insights into the social, economic and religious practices of the people who lived there. The rediscovery of Dwarka holds immense significance for India's cultural heritage. It is a tangible link to the country's rich mythological past and serves as a reminder of the ancient civilizations that once thrived on the Indian subcontinent. Beyond its religious significance, Dwarka is a treasure trove of historical and archaeological importance. The site has the potential to rewrite our understanding of ancient Indian history, particularly its maritime past. Further research and exploration of the site are crucial for unraveling the mysteries of Dwarka and its place in global antiquity. The findings at Dwarka have reignited interest in underwater archaeology in India and beyond. Despite their remarkable discoveries, Dwarka remains an enigma. Many questions about its size, layout and the reasons for its submergence remain unanswered. Further exploration and scientific analysis are needed to piece together the complete story of this ancient city. The search for answers continues to captivate archaeologists, historians and the general public alike. Dwarka's story is far from over, it is an ongoing saga of discovery and wonder. The submerged city of Dwarka stands as a testament to the enduring power of myth and the remarkable resilience of human civilization. As new technologies and methods emerge, the quest to uncover Dwarka's secrets continues, promising more revelations in the future.